Hello and welcome to this video where I will discuss the single page app or SPA. In a single page app, the index file is the hub around which the whole application revolves. In my view, this could easily be called the site template. The template contains all of the elements that occur in each page view, like the header, the content or main area, and the footer. Beside the site template, we have partial documents that contain the contents for each of the views. When we open the web page in the browser, the URL determines the contents of the page. If this is the main URL for the site, then it will usually be the home page that is shown. Choosing a menu item, such as About Us, then the About page will show. The same for when we click the Contact menu item, the Contact page will show. All of this happens without a page refresh as occurs with multiple page websites. This saves bandwidth and page rendering time. More importantly, for us developers, site maintenance becomes a lot easier. As an example, if we want to add an extra page, we only need to add the extra menu item in the site template. Wapla has complete control over the single page app. There is very little for us developers to do with the exception of a JSON file that has to be created. This JSON file holds the data that is used to populate the page title and the meta description. The data fields are the identifier or ID, title and description. In the video where I discuss the index file, I will show how this data is used. For now, we will stay with the single page app. The engine driving the SPA is called routing. The routing is invoked in project settings. This setting produces two hidden files. htaccess and routes.json. I only mention these last two files to give you the background information. We did not have to worry about these files because Wepler will populate these automatically. The engine itself can be found by clicking on the routing icon. Here we see the routes that are involved. Page routes are controlled by the site template, while the main route properties need to be entered here. In our case, the home page is the first page to open, therefore the name home. The path is the root directory and the URL is index.html. The last part of the routing system can be found on the client side of Wepler. For this boilerplate, the page routes can be found within the main element. Here we see the path that will be shown in the address bar of the browser. The URL points to the partial file that contains the content. When we turn to the navigation bar and choose a menu item, we see the link to the route from the routing on the server side. As we continue this series of videos, we will come back to this. For the moment, this should give you an understanding of the single page app. In the next video, I will discuss the index page. Thank you for watching.